Hi everyone, it's Anne from Curious Moon Design. I've got another needle book to share with you. If you remember last time, I explained I'd made two. One to keep in my craft room and one to keep downstairs. So this is the second one. The fabric I've used on this is the one I made for a wedding journal and uh, I made two little purses to keep the wedding rings in so I've got some left over so I've used that on this as it's quite memorable for me. I put a nameplate on there and a beautiful pin brooch of a butterfly. Beautiful button. Again I've got the buttons today from the button box Devon. I'll put her link below. I've got two lovely little cotton reels which I've added ribbon and some thread or wool to. A lovely button there. That This was in my sewing box and I thought it just went beautiful there. So let's have a look inside. I'll move these things away. So on the first page I've got a lovely deep pocket and in here I've got some thread cards and cotton cards and a nice little booklet again for making notes and when you're knitting you can write down your row numbers. And also I put some scissors in there, made them from the same fabric as the cover. Tied them in with some cord. On this page I've layered up a piece of green felt for my needles and pins. There's a beautiful sewing machine charm and a huge button. The layer underneath is again part of the fabric that I um, used on the wedding journal so it's a patchwork. In here we've got a pocket, various cards, button cards, and they're all from our kit on Etsy. On this side I've got a pin cushion, safety pin to the fabric and on a beautiful gold paper clip I've got an adjustable thimble. I've used gold felt here to hold the needles. I've got another lovely button here. This is from the button box Devon again. This little pin here is one of my mum's old pins and I thought I'd put that in. A lovely butterfly charm. Some nice beads on a safety pin. This is one of the French style safety pins so it doesn't have the loop at the end so you can put the beads all the way around. And I've added some fabric, that, the fabric that I've used on a previous needle book and just little odd pieces that I can use to put buttons on or pins. On this side we've got safety pins, another lovely button a star charm there. In here we have a pocket and I've got fabric in there and some lace ready to use and some nice swatches of fabric. So it's a nice deep pocket so I've also got some button cards in there. I'll put the link below to the 
Etsy page for the button cards. On this page I've got another piece of the patchwork layering up another felted piece for pins and I've got a needle threader on there and a scissor charm. A beautiful button, this one was from my button box. I think it's one of my mum's. On this side more buttons and beads and a heart charm, tape measure, a needle threader and a button card and I've made a pocket out of the patchwork so it all ties in nicely. I'm very pleased with that one and that'll sit nicely downstairs in my coffee table drawer handy for when I want to do a bit of stitching if I'm watching television or something so I hope you enjoyed looking through my needle book and if you want the pattern I've added it to previous needle book videos I'll put the link at the end of this video for you and in the description below please join us again for some more crafting with paper and sewing happy crafting everyone bye for now